In Prince William County are searching for a killer after a woman was shot in broad daylight in Woodbridge, Virginia. Now this happened earlier today outside of a busy 7-Eleven on Route 1. That's where we found our Matthew Torres live for us this evening near where that woman's body was located. And Matthew, what are investigators telling you right now? Stop the scene here has finally cleared hours after that woman was killed outside of this 7-Eleven and police say that she was shot just behind the store up this trail into this wooded area just after four o'clock this morning. And while police have not been able to release the name of the victim nor the details of what led up to the shooting just yet, we are learning tonight that this woman was known in this area. One by one, investigators collecting any kind of evidence. With the help of a canine, Prince William County Police working to track down the killer who gunned down a woman behind the 7-Eleven in Woodbridge. Surveillance video from the store showing an officer responding to the scene at the corner of Jefferson Davis Highway and Prince William Parkway before 4.30 a.m. In the wooded area, he found the woman dead with gunshot wounds. Moments earlier, at least a couple of people could be seen going in and out of the woods. There's enough activity outside the business despite the early morning hours. Very nice lady, you know, hard worker. A migrant looking for a better future for her and her family. But sometimes, you know, in their life, bad stuff happen like this. This man is one of many day laborers seeking a job in front of the convenience store every day. He and other workers say her first name was Claudia, originally from Guatemala. They watched her stand by the road trying to sell items, including water bottles, to make money. He's very nice to lady, you know, this. She's she very nice. She buy the water, you know, water case and sell for, you know, people summertime, you know, so hard. The victim's death only intensifying concerns from workers and nearby business owners worried about the alleged crime activity in and around the same wooded area. I, I try not to say nothing because I, I concentrated in my business because the people doesn't know that this is a bad area and they don't come to buy to my business. I I'm losing my business. It continues and you want to see me in the corner asking for money. Yeah, there's also a lot of gang activities around here and drugs and stuff like that. You know, people trying to take over and other ones. It's, you know, the police know, they know. It's just stuff that they got to do something about it. And we're learning that her death uh, today marks the eighth homicide here in the county. Police have not been able to provide a description on her attacker. If you have any information, of course, call Prince William County Police. Reporting live in Woodbridge tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. All right, Matthew, thank you for the update. We appreciate it.